Hey everybody, my name is Dowd, and in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at addressing sibilance using a multiband dynamics inside of Ableton Live 10 to reduce the sibilance in your voice or in some of your harsher sounds. I do have another video addressing sibilance that you can check the description for uh, a link to that as well. But for this one, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And we have two loops, just this drum loop and a vocal loop. So sibilance sits between uh, around four or 5,000 hertz to maybe eight to 10,000 hertz and a little bit higher as well, depending on the sounds. Um, but essentially sibilance is just the sharp ear piercing sound and it also comes in with other instruments as well. It's not just your voice. So we can address this using a multiband dynamics to try and get just the high sounds that we're having in those uh, in our instruments and in our samples and, and vocals so that we're not reducing the overall high end of the sound, but only the parts that are really creating that shrill sound. So let's go ahead and I'm going to grab an EQ8 and I throw it on there and we're just going to take a look at where the area is hitting and I remember it's around here somewhere. I'm going to turn off the EQ and grab a multiband dynamics. 8 kilohertz was where our high end was a little bit shrill so I'm going to grab this high I'm going to bring it up to just past 8 kilohertz and I'm going to bring this up to 3 kilohertz because I can only go up to 3 kilohertz on the low and what this does is now the mid frequency of our multiband compressor is between 3 kilohertz and 9.2 kilohertz and then I'm going to set a compression for the sibilance. I'm going to play the sound again I'm just going to try and grab just the top of that sound, just that the little, like maybe one or two dB of gain reduction to really try and grab that sharpness without reducing too much of the high end. So there we go. We just really simply created a, essentially a de with the multiband dynamics. So I can actually just call this de -esser. I could save that. Of course, it's not a perfect plugin, but if you haven't purchased or downloaded a DS or you can use this to just remove a little bit of the shrillness off your sound. Let's take a listen before and after. We can try this with a vocal as well. And you can see the game reduction doesn't really happen until that hard S sound is this happening. This is a test using and that's what we want we want to make sure that we're only addressing that hard s sound let's listen with and without the de -esser. this is a test using sibilance in our track this is a test using sibilance in our track and it's just gonna help you balance out that sound a little bit more it's going to be, give you the opportunity to maybe boost the volume a little bit more which is something we talked about in the other video that i mentioned in the description it's great for uh, just addressing that really shrill sound that you have in vocal recordings or in certain instruments if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and if you like the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up.